Welcome to the Ross Patterson Revolution! <laughs> yeah. What's that fucking YouTube song? What what song? That's a YouTube song. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a fucking YouTube song. Oh, you I thought you or I thought you said YouTube. Uh, what, why would that be? Uh, yes, you- it's yes, it's on YouTube, <laughs> but it's also a YouTube song. <laughs> Um, when I when I start off with a stirring rendition of Desire Like That right. from Joshua Tree, mm-hmm. I expect that, that you know the band. I expect a little respect out of you, frankly. I really do. <laughs> instead, I, of, instead of just that, that giggling, that chortling, like you're, like you're two squirrels on the tree, you know? Mm-hmm. That's, that is not this type of show, Jables. <laughs> okay. This is the Ross Patterson Revolution. This is not a time for you to sit in your own fuckery and put two hands on a boat or and stew. Um, No, I I was actually talking to somebody at the grocery store um, Mm -hmm. who was like, oh, my gosh, do you like Police Academy movies? And I was like, yeah. And they were like, do you like ice cream? And I was like, I love it. And they were like, you're such a Steve Glutenberg. (laughs) Um, Welcome to Ross Patterson Revolution, kids. This is a weird one. Gluten? It's got gluten in it, I believe. No. Um, so Mm-mm. that the dairy. No. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. No. Mm-mm. No. No gluten and uh, no ice gluten. cream. No gluten ice cream. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. my so what you're telling me from the get go is my Steve Glutenberg joke. It would have to be done. Fell upon with deaf like ears. Bread or something like bread. Eh, or do you there's a lot like, of puddings do you with like bread. Police yeah. Academy movies and a and, and a, baguettes and a, nice, and a nice breaded pudding and a nice baguette. Yeah, then you'll love Steve Glutenberg. No. Yeah, that would totally All work. Right. Look, I'm I'm looking for ways. The next time you're trying to pick up people, at the look at, I'm looking for ways to you know pick up people in the grocery store. <laughs> yeah. um, so so that Steve one. Glutenberg is not gonna that's not gonna fly, huh? It's not gonna work with ice cream. Okay. All right, so I've got to switch. I got to switch it up, is what you're saying. Mm-hmm. Uh, welcome to the revolution, kids. We got a we got a hot show tonight. We got a we got a weird show tonight. Um, there was there was a few bizarre things that happened in a, in a series of twelve hours. That one, you were so disgusted by you threw the phone down. What? The porn star who got attacked. Oh, well, I just don't like... Shark attack. That was uh, a little much for you. Well... That was a little much for you. Open wounds in water of any kind. It was a gaping wound. A gaping wound. Gaping wounds, fine. Sure. By themselves, like, are, ew, gross. But when it's, like, in water, underwater... But she was in the ocean. It was salt water. So if there's anything that's better... Than a large open gaping like cutting room. my finger while washing dishes seems so is like so much more horrible and like I can't even stand it oh, than to just like Jables. cut my finger. First of all, there's nothing sadder. There's nothing sadder in this world. You know that than when a supermodel dies. Number two on that list is when a, when a porn star gets hurt. Um, and I thought I thought you would know these rules by now. Mm-hmm. So when this porn star, nay, hero, hero, because that's what she is, she jumped in the water uh, in, in a tank that, what, did it look like it should even be fitted for a human being, to be honest with you? Like the, the cage, no. it didn't look like a real cage for like, oh, hey, you're going to go down and swim with sharks. The, it looked way too big, like a shark could get in there. It looked like a feeding trough. For a shark, like if yeah. you were gonna put something in so that they could like put their nose through the bars and right. like just eat a little, you know, chum or something. That's what it looked like. It was it was kind of crazy where you're like, all right, even though it was a porn porn star in there, they were still on a porn budget, so they were like, hey, can you grab yeah. something that resembles a cage? I'm sure she'll be for fine. sure. Looked homemade. I'm I'm sure she'll be fine. Definitely looked homemade. So she gets in there um, and is swimming around. Not only that, but here was another telling thing about this video. And for those of you who haven't seen it, just just Google uh, porn star gets attacked by shark and enjoy it. You're welcome. And that, that one's on me. Um, but when she when she gets in, she has a snorkel mask on and a snorkel. 
Mm-hmm. She doesn't even have like, oh, I'm I'm gonna wear an oxygen tank and scuba like a scuba gear, which is what they they most of them have. Um, right. Which means she had to be really close to the top of the water. Yeah, it so should have actually snorkel been hose, really safe, but yeah. So the snorkel hose had enough, you know, room to get air on this mm-hmm. thing, so she could just peek her mask underwater, and like these little sharks could bat at her. It, it was second one as well. Like as soon as she jumped in there, Boy, it I, was like, yeah, under thirty seconds. She gets her foot yeah. ripped open and <laughs> she jumps out of the water and you're like, oh, I, I thought it was like typical porn star shit of like, oh, it's too crazy. That I felt yeah, a yeah. thin. Or it like hits the cage it was too, too wet. much. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I saw it coming at me. I stared into the eyes of it and I had to get out of the fucking water. Right. It wasn't. Uh, she gets, at, she, she's partially out of the water. Blood is everywhere. And you're like, oh, fuck. This is going it's down. It's real, yeah. A porn star just got attacked by a shark. Now I'm thinking where? Because I'm thinking at this point, there was so much blood, I was like, it got her whole fucking foot. Right. Had to have. Goodbye. Too yeah. much blood. Had to have gotten her whole foot. Didn't. Mm-hmm. Didn't. Gets out of there. It was, a good, it was a good fucking dust up. It was right underneath the ankle, ripped open. Uh, they said it required uh, 27 stitches. Uh, the big dogs. That makes like sense. Like the, the big dogs. She was very, could not have been. <laughs> the crying out of her. That the, the porn star crying was that. <laughs> we were just like, man, it, I, like, it, it took me a second. I was like, is this real? Mm-hmm. Because that's exactly what I think in my mind, a porn star. I've never heard a porn star cry in real life. It's something I haven't experienced. Right. That is what exa- exactly in my mind what I picture a porn star cry to look to and look, sound like, yeah. and it delivered. It right. delivered on all fronts, so now I can check that off my bucket list right? because I got to see what that was, you know? Um, and it was not pretty at all. No. It was real ugly. It was a real ugly cry. Yeah. Um, but this uh, this poor porn star, or maybe rich porn star. I, I, look, uh, probably not rich. No. She, not, could, she, could, not... she could fucking sue for this now, janky ass who's thing. Who's she going to sue? The producers. Oh, God. The production. They'll just change the name of their production company and move to fucking from France. Burbank to Va- Van Nuys yeah. and be fucking good. But Here, Here's the beauty of it, though. She had a sponsor on her bathing suit. Mm-hmm. Um, like a gajillion people have watched this video now at this point. Um. Whoever that sponsor is, doing it, raking right now, right, raking, right. Because I was going to look up the company, but we were, we were about to do a show, and I was right. like, "Oh shit, who's that sponsor?" <laughs> like fucking a. I always look for like the down, like the 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 downside in that shit. Like um, we're upside, whatever you want to look at. Sure. Like, hey, that sponsor is getting paid. Whoever Silver the fuck lining that was. for yeah. somebody. Who is that? Who is the who is the genius? She could behind not that? have been more vulnerable. I mean, thong. Boobs out, yeah. no protective anything. Not even gloves. Anywhere, no you know how they gloves, would, yeah, yeah. not a wetsuit, uh-uh. nothing. They 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 usually make you wear some kind of, you know, chainage uh, from the medieval times. Like you're you're gonna get on a horse and you're gonna fucking joust somebody. That's what they, that that normal shark equipment they looks like. They found some like backwoods, like underground shit where they would let her get in in basically that was naked, a lot of sharks. basically yeah. naked, yeah. In a cage with really large space between the bars and like in a really high, high traffic shark area. I mean, they were coming. There was a bunch. A bunch of sharks. A bunch of sharks coming out. And again, if you get, you get bit like that second one, they've been chummed. They've been. Oh yeah. A lot of chum in those waters. A lot of chum. I think I just like saying that word. Chum. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. It's, uh, you're real chummy with that. (laughs) <laughs> Steve <laughs> Glutenberg <laughs> um, But yeah it's, uh, it's a fun one If you have You know Let's say you have time on your hands You want to watch 30 seconds of a porn star Getting chomped by maybe a shark Maybe it's your thing Like maybe that's a fetish that, thing That was the other thing I thought of Where I was like Alright Cause they The guy They didn't stop rolling When she started crying Yeah And I was like Fuck Is this part of it Like do people have Shark fetishes, like oh my god! Listen, I want to see somebody get eaten and then jack off to it. Like, is that a is that a thing? I'm going to tell you something. Everyone, anything that you can think of, somebody that's somebody's thing. Oh yeah, well I know that. 
Okay, I know that. so but then yes, exactly. What that's you just a said very, is like what I would what, what I would think though. That's a very very small population um, of 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 the the world who is who's got a shark attack fetish. Um, <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> yeah, oh, maybe not. I don't know one. Per- like I've never heard one buddy in my life who's like, man. And you won't. I've, I've taken it. To- no, I have. I've heard the, the most disgusting shit of all time. Rocco, you know, having somebody pee on the floor. Like, well, that's right. Yeah, we did that's that on our right. sister show, The Drinking Bros. That's right. I forget what what the name of the episode was, but uh, he had I think a, do- it was a just dog straight fetish. up pee on the floor. But yeah, no, it was a dog fetish because it was it, no, no. It but went I think the episode to the whole thing. Yeah, I, yeah, I forget <laughs> the name of the episode, but it's you know with with his shark attack now. Like that's another level of like, oh my gosh, shark attack porn. It's. I'm sure it's a thing. Could I'm be, sure you think a it's a small. Anything that you think is like a small, like niche thing, it's probably like they have conventions for it. Could be a rage, and I don't. I don't even know about it. I don't even know about. It. Maybe that's why Sharknado does so well on, on the fucking ratings. Who knows? Who knows? I don't know. Shark Week. I don't, I don't know. know. Oh boy. Oh, that's maybe. Like there. Maybe. I, I look in a weird, sick way. I have a like a shark fetish. The opposite. It's not sexual, but I want to see people get eaten up like that. I really do. Every time, right. every time we watch Shark Week, and I'm like, man, I hope a motherfucker dies, man. Hasn't Shark Week gotten so fucking stupid? Well, it's just gotten too safe and too like too they really safe, need to to too rehearsed, light a fire, yeah, too written, too staged. Yeah. It's just like that whole megalodon shit. E- Eli like, Roth does a bunch of shit with them now, and it's like, come on, man, let's throw some fucking. You know what I want to see? Throw some, so throw some rednecks, some backwoods Arkansas fucking rednecks. Out and out in the goddamn waters with these sharks. Yeah, and give them give them two buck knives apiece. Mm-hmm. Um, they're shirtless. They got mullets. You know the whole shit. Um, they don't. They're not even wearing goggles. So they're just swinging knives. Yeah. You know, just swinging knives at sharks. That's Shark Week to me. Let's throw yeah. some real live fucking truckers in the goddamn waters yeah. and have them just blindly cut up sharks with bow knives. Yeah, um, that's what I want. That's what I want on a shark see, week. Like, right now, it's so it's so fucking rehearsed. Yeah. I feel like I'm watching a Saturday cartoon with, with my brother's kids. That one porn clip with that girl yeah. was scarier than anything that's on Shark Week. Oh, right now. hands down. They're so fucking protect. They're literally wearing chainmail every everywhere everywhere yeah. they're in these cages that are like Agreed. nothing can get through it Agreed. oh my oh my gosh and they do these like weird camera movements to make it seem like yeah. it's super scary uh, yeah 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 this was the real I really shit hate it. I'm this was the real shit um maybe that'll be the new shark week thing throw throw a fucking shit ton of porn stars in a half-ass caged let's get wet let's get yeah. wet um yeah. You know, let's could find be, out what happens. Could be the name of it. Yeah. Let's get wet. Could be. The, let's get wet. The name of it. Ah, go, 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 go. <laughs> uh, we, got, we got some sponsors. Who pay, we just went off on a fucking rant um, for no reason whatsoever. We got some sponsors who pay for this shit to be on the air. Shockingly. Um, look, kids, the, the first up is uh, straightrazors.com. Boy, am I a fan of this. Let me count the ways. Shing, 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 shing. Five, five blades. Uh, order five blades from straightrazors.com. Here's what it is. It's it's a high-end shaving kit. One of the best in the biz. If you enjoyed the movie Tombstone, uh, that type of, the one that Doc Hollywood was getting shaved at on the porch. Baba proceeds. Uh, Doc Holliday. Doc Holliday. What not, did I say? Not Doc Hollywood, which is oh, a the, amazing uh, Michael, Michael J. Fox, J. Fox, Fox movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. vehicle. You know, yeah. I was, I, I've got my computer open. There's a picture of Michael J. Fox on there. Um, that's what. But uh, Doc Holliday used this in Tombstone. It's the finest old school fucking 1800s classy it shaving is. kit on the planet. It's dope. Uh, number one ranked aftershave. Number one ranked cologne. Um, they, look, if you're looking to impress a lady... Uh, put this on your counter. Or a dude. Yeah. And uh, guess what? The uh, panties I will drop. Uh, go to straightrazors.com. Type in the promo code REVOLUTION. You get 20% off. Uh, again, I cannot say how much I love these guys. Straightrazors.com. Type in the promo code REVOLUTION. You get 20% off. Next up, we got a little strikeforceenergy.com. Give me a shark noise, Jables. <laughs> yeah. That was yeah. more like a bear? Yeah, more, more like a bear. Here's the thing. 
Uh, instead of chum in the water, throw some strike force in there if you want the great whites to come after you. Yeah. Uh, that'll really bring them out. Strike force! Uh, go to strikeforceenergy.com. It's a tasty, tiny little tin pouch full of energy that goes in every single beer, liquor, water. Kool-Aid. You name it, it goes in there. It's better than five-hour energy. Kick the can. You don't need the can. And it's not a fucking powder either. You don't need to stir it. It's just a little boom, boom. A couple squirts and you're good to go. Go to StrikeForceEnergy.com. Get yourself a subscription of the month, uh, which we have. And they ship everywhere in the entire world, which is a nice thing. Type in the promo code REVOLUTION. They're also giving you 20% off at StrikeForceEnergy.com. Promo code REVOLUTION. Last but not least, we get at night she cries while he rides his steed. The first ever romance novel for dudes, Jables. <laughs> oh, that's oh, that was like what was that talking horse? I don't that uh, show. It's, it Mr. Sa- Ed? sounds like dead horse. It was um, like Mr. Ed. No, nowhere near it. It was a spot on Mr. Ed. No, nowhere near it. Uh, funniest book ever written, kids, by the one, the only Ross Orenthal James Patterson. Um, am I related to James? No. No, I'm not. Uh, all right, fine. He's my dad. Uh, that's why I'm such a great writer. He's my James. James Patterson is my dad. Um, I'm kidding. He's not. But if it helps you buy the book, go out and buy the book. Pick up a night she cries while he rides his steed. It's available in bookstores everywhere. Also, Amazon.com, BarnesandNoble.com, Walmart.com, you name it.com. It's on there and Audible. Uh, there's Jables and I and a team of actors do the Audible. It's it's uh, the only five star Audible I think on Audible. No lie. Really? Um, yeah, yeah. It's, it's one of the few. I, that's what I get hit up the most about, by the way. I was just in Salt Lake City, Utah. This guy was like, dude, for six and a half hours, man, I'm fucking listening to a night she cries when you're just eating. It's the greatest goddamn thing ever. I was like, isn't it? And he goes, you weren't lying on your show. And I, I, that's the funny thing is like, I get these messages. Whoever gets that thing, they're like, do you really weren't lying? And I was like, no, nah, I, I know. Right. I know. Um, sorry for my genius, but I'm not. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, but you're sorry not sorry. From a genius. Um, what the fuck are we doing here, man? What are you we know, doing like, here? I, what is up? You started talking shit about uh, songs that are 20 years old. So I want I wanted to look this up. <laughs> songs that turned 20. God, today. like why? Why? What? What even made you like? <laughs> oh man, I really want to dig into songs that are 20 years old. Like what? What? No, it's just like not today, but like this year. Songs that turn 20. You know, there's just like there's those weird little things that pop up on sure, Facebook. Sure, sure. So, I'll... so I, I looked it up. I looked it up. Um, you you ready for the songs that turn 20? Sure. Because, you know, I, I, this is, was so exciting, so pressing, we had to get to it. Right. Hanson Mbop, mm-hmm. 20 years old. Do you miss it? Yes. Yeah. Does it feel 20? It does not feel 20. It feels, it feels 80 to me. It feels, <laughs> like, so feels like George it. Burns old to me. It feels like Betty so White into... old to me, Mbop does. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Spice Girls wannabe, yeah. Again, that no. that, f- that feels old. Uh, Backstreet Boys, quit playing game with my heart <laughs> and my heart. That feels twenty. Like that doesn't feel like uh, recent. Puff Daddy and Faith Evans, I'll be missing you. That eh. feels older than twenty, doesn't it? Yeah, that feels that feels twenty to me. Uh, Black Street, no diggity, no diggity. Got I got to rag it up. That seems older than that to me. Yeah, R. Kelly. I, I, all right, I'll give you this one. R. Kelly, I believe I can fly. Timeless. That is a timeless song. Well, it's twenty. I believe I can fly, but it's timeless. <laughs> so I never, I never knew that. I didn't knew that. Um, what what else we got here? Meredith Brooks, bitch. I'm a bitch. I'm a lover. God I'm a child. It. I'm a mother. Uh, how do you know all the words to that? I'm a sinner. I'm uh, a saint. I, why, why do you know the words to that fucking song? Every girl when that came out like knew the words, uh, good or bad. Do you know the name? Do you, do you know her name was Meredith? Bro- I didn't know her name was Meredith. Yeah, Brooks. I think at the time I probably did, but my mind doesn't retain any information. Uh, all right. Next up, we got Jewel. Foolish games. Oh, oh yes God. this is all like this is high school i had a crush this on jewel by the way even her fucking weird tooth as a yeah. as a child foolish games jewel too like uh, yeah. g- uh genuine pony 
Jump on it, my, my pony. pony. Every stripper song ever. Fuck. Still to this day. Still to this day. That, that song feels like two years old. That That's doesn't true. even feel like 20 years old. That's true. Um, Mark Morrison, Return of the Mac. Return of the Mac. <laughs> Return of the Mac. Yeah. <laughs> uh, third, uh, we got one for you. Third Eye Blind, Semi Charmed Life. Um, oh. God. That that one doesn't. Uh, that's the only one out of this list um, that doesn't feel twenty. Really, DJ Cool. Now let me clear my throat. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, I remember okay. that one. Oh yeah, okay, okay that's okay, twenty. Okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> the Verve Pipe, the Freshman. All right, uh, I remember that. That's we such were a only freshmen. freshmen. Yeah, that fucking. Uh, um, that was a good one. Uh, that feels twenty. Usher, you make me, you make me wanna be the one I'm with. Eh, mm, I, I hear mm, that song all mm, the time. Mm, 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 um, mm. Cheryl Crow, if it makes you happy. If it makes you happy. Yeah, that feels that feels twenty. That feels twenty. Why am I whining so much? Uh, here's a bonus for you, and this is what we're gonna end end your little fucking weird it's rant on. Whatever, dude. Um, there's an album that turned twenty. Oh. Uh, that album is the album Jock Jam. <laughs> oh, remember Jock Jams? <laughs> yes. Oh, ESPN, ESPN presents the Jock Jam. That's 20 years old. Um, fuck. That's, that's, uh, what's that another feels one? 20. Um, that feels do you 20. know Elton John's Candle in the Wind turns 20? It's not, no, that's not 20. Yeah, it is. No. No, it's God damn it, Javels. It was on the list. No, it is not twenty years old. Yeah, you're way wrong. Why? The song was released in nineteen seventy three. Oh, okay, um, okay, okay. With Why music it- and lyrics by Elton John. It was originally written in nineteen seventy three in honor of Marilyn Monroe, who had died oh, eleven years and earlier. Then it got in nineteen ninety seven, John performed a rewritten version of the song as a tribute to Princess Diana. A I mean, rewritten? This is so fucked that you would even... The actual release date for this song was February 4th, 1974. It was written oh. in 1973. Here, You weren't even off by 20 years. You were <laughs> off... You, you, you want to know how... You were off by We're 44 normal. years. Why was it on that thing on Facebook? 44 years. Stop reading Facebook. <laughs> for my Stop news? Stop believing in Facebook for your for news. For my news? 1997 Candle in the Wind. Oh my gosh. You know what else was in 1997? Paint It Black by the Rolling St- No, no. Sorry, no. I've got the... I'm s- sorry, I think that was the late 60s. Well, I mean, come on. You just scolded me too. Like you just fucking scolded me. I looked it up me. and it said it on Wikipedia. Yeah, well, Released that's when it was re-released. In 1997. Come on. You know Zima's coming back this summer, right? Yeah. Yeah. And and are you going to tell me that it's just coming, that it's just brand new, this was the year? I don't know. No, you're goddamn right you're not. It's getting re-released. Re-released this summer. Um, there's a rumor, there's been a bunch of pictures, by the way, uh, on our Facebook page and on Twitter that people have found Zima and they're, they've sent it into the P.O. Box. Oh. So... Uh, we've got it. We got to go check the PO box to, to see if if there is something different in there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was their slogan with a Z back in the day. Something different. Something different. So you're welcome. Zump. You're welcome. If Zump. if that Zump. We'll, we'll do a we'll do a Zima themed show if uh if it if it's sent in and if it's sent in safely, you know, because it's I'm I'm afraid with with you know whenever somebody sends six packs worth of shit. Because uh, l- let's face it, Zima was a sixer type of drink. It wasn't. Yeah. Uh, you couldn't get I, it. I don't. Could you get it in twelve packs? I mean, I don't remember it. I remember getting it in sixers, but um, it look if you're centering in a twelver though, holla in the streets if you hear me. Did you ever have hooch? Well, what's hooch? Hooch is was kind of like Zima, only it was more of like a citrusy. Um, no. No, no, never had hooch. Yeah. Never had, had hooch. Like a colorful. Got down on Zima and got down on Zima only. Um, by the way, so uh, besides the porn star who got fucking attacked by the shark, uh, there, was a, there was a sex party in Hollywood. 
Oh. Like a huge, but for, for ladies only. For ladies only. It like was like lesbian? roses, uh, dress, like black dress. Like it was, it was a whole fucking thing. Okay. Um, the, the, the producer of the Oscar winning movie Precious says all of us were app- appalled and intrigued at the same time, which is weird because that's, that's what I thought of when I saw the movie Precious. I was appalled <laughs> and I was intrigued. Right. How, how is that person so big? Yes. Um, I know that she's your favorite actor, though, Gabby Sidibe. No, she's yeah. not. You always. You, I remember when Precious Shut came out, you, you bought the, the movie poster uh-huh. and it, you hung it up on your wall. Right. Um, you had it. You are. You are a big Precious fan. Yeah. You're the only person I know with a Precious poster uh-huh. that is hung um, from day one. Because you it saw it, you saw it, it at, a, at an earlier screening. You know how sometimes with like Guardians of the Galaxy or Fast and the Furious, they do those midnight screening like the day before type thing because mm. the, the, the fans are excited. You, I remember you went to Precious and you waited in line. And, yeah, um, with, and like camped out. Yeah, and you, you camped were the out first. with me you, and a couple of other really hardcore Sidibe. Sidibe fans. And I remember Sidibe tribe. I remember yeah, I remember you being out there for a long time and mm-hmm. you were like, This is this is not the movie that I asked for. This is the movie I deserve. Right. Um and you got you waited, you camped out all night mm-hmm. and you got to see Precious. Um, and we're still waiting for the sequel. Yeah, well, you know, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Didn't she die at the end? I don't know. I couldn't get through it. I couldn't I get through. Know. I just figured she Something, did. Yeah, I just figured she did. It's one of those like super tragic. I or don't know. she I like remember. she bettered herself. One of the two. It's one of the two in those one movies. She two, either bettered yeah, herself yeah, or she died. Yeah, yeah. There was no in between of like, oh, she went on and, and t- went to Devry and I got a she did. got know. a degree like you know like s- working a soldering iron or something. I just remember Mariah Carey. Performance of a lifetime. Performance of a lifetime. Took off the makeup, you know, just hoping. Yeah, yeah, that hoping for that Oscar. Yeah, she was a guidance counselor, in that wasn't mm-hmm. she? Look, there's a, there's a lot of people that I want guidance from in this world. Number one, Mariah Carey. Yeah, true. Mariah Carey. So, anyways, at, at this sex party, uh, Dita Von Teis, she was uh, performing. There was strict rules. Um, the invitation was delivered with a, a fresh black rose and lace. Um, it, it hinted for an extravagant night of juxtaposting black tie attire and diamonds with sexual, sexual talk. Sexual talk. Sexual do, talk? Yeah. Do women not get together and talk about like s- sexual talk? At all, all the time. Yeah. I, Every time we get together. So one would think. But this looks like super classy where there's like I'm, I'm kind of breezing through the pictures here where there's like like really nice fresh roses and like candles. They served oh they served oysters as an aphrodisiac followed by black truffle. Aaron Sini. What the fuck is Aaron Sini? Aaron Sini. Yeah. Hey, uh, look. I think it's a, ris- uh, a risotto ball. OK. A, a sex expert. Dr. Holly Richman. Uh, who is apparently a well-known sexpert with a, she's got a, a PhD from the Chicago School of Professional Psychology and Somatic Psychology. Online. I don't, I don't know what any of that means. Um, not, not only that, but I've never heard of the Chicago School of Professional Psychology. That sounds like one of those like made up things. Um, that's, that, that's what that, that sounds like a, a, a University of Richmond at Boulder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like the yeah. New York Academy of Theater in Los Angeles yes. City. Yes. You're like, wait, that, those two cities don't make any sense. Um, yeah, but they had whips and chains and the, you know, a bunch of leather. Uh, the whole shit was there. So it was a le- I'm sorry. So it was a lesbian sex party? No, no. There was uh, there there was a whole fucking they were thing about stuff? that. No, it was about w- women to get in touch with their sexuality, and you know, some of this money went to charity or whatever the fuck oh, it is. Okay. Um, and, and it and it, it it championed women and their their fearless sexual leaders, and um, so it's it, it was a big deal apparently for them, and they had a. They had a real rebel rousing time, which I, I just, what the fuck is wrong with girls? Like what the, like what is wrong with girls and older women? Can I, I, I just don't get, like, I don't get this um, at all. Yeah. At all. 
I don't either. I went to. I'm gonna. I'm gonna tell you a story, James. This is gonna be a shocking story. Um, what do you mean? Probably that you've never heard before. Uh, I went to a dude's Hollywood party, like like uh, a guy's birthday party, right? Mm-hmm. Here's how guys get down. Here's the difference of like a like a Hollywood's like a real Hollywood dude story versus this Hollywood woman story. You know, they probably laughed. They left. There was a bunch of giggles, a bunch of laughter, a bunch of things. Yeah. You know? I got invited to this super high powered agent in Hollywood and we were instructed to me. It was the, the, at the W hotel in Santa Monica. Um, and he had rented out. I'm not going to say who this is cause he's to this day. He's probably still one of the biggest agents in Hollywood. Okay. He rented out the, an, an entire floor and got prostitutes and had prostitutes in every single room. And I was like, God damn it. Like that's, that's a fucking sec. Like, that's throwing a, a dude's version versus this women's version mm-hmm. of throwing a full on fucking crazy, crazy sex. What I was just like, Jesus Christ. Like, and I didn't know about it until later, but it was one of those things where you had to hear like from the host or a friend of every friend with the host or whatever. And they were like, it's all prostitutes up there. Right. It's all prostitutes on the, it was like the 19th floor or something. And the door, if the door was closed, you couldn't go in there. But if the door was open, that means you could go have sex with these prostitutes in there. Um, and again, that was back in the day. Right. They, camera phones weren't prevalent, but if you had any type of phone on you, they made you put it in a bag or whatever. And like, mm-hmm. there was a full blown party going on downstairs with men and women, but only certain people knew about the fucking 19th floor going down. Crazy, right? Yes. So when I read shit like this, <laughs> it's like, Oh man, we're gonna we're gonna give out a whip and we're gonna have oysters. We're gonna fuck. It was like <laughs> I know. no, it's just like not gonna. That's not the real shit. That let's let's flip it. Uh, because that money could have gone to much better purposes than all of this. If you're really gonna throw down and have a sex party, that money the money went to charity though, right? I, I don't know. Oh, uh, I'm assuming uh. like I. Otherwise, you're, you're kind of just an asshole for throwing a party like this and be like, oh, my gosh, everybody come to my sex party or whatever, right? Nothing, like, unsexier than, like, a normal, like, basic so if, chick. Yeah, if you got invited to this, would you go? Um, it depends. Depends on, like, who I was going to be going with. Okay. But I think it's one of those things, and I do this often, where I'll go to things knowing that it's going to be like fucking gay as shit and like i'll go and then i'll sit there and just be like what is my life like what have i turned into the art of what sex is soiree was the name of it by the way that was the name of the party they threw um <laughs> and it was and it was actually thrown this is a good one by christine chu who's a wife of a beverly hills plastic surgeon gabriel chu um and she wanted to bring her Hollywood friends together for an exclusive night of frank sex talk and female empowerment. So she did that. <laughs> but why do you need that? I don't know. Why do you need that? Uh, not what, like, is it one of those things to get your bored and you need something to get out of the house maybe at that some, point? Maybe some people do need that. Really? To like hear that other people like do things for them to be like, oh, really? I don't know. I don't know. But Hollywood, Hollywood's one of those places where you're like, ah, is that the town you really need it in? Like, Jesus. Like, Definitely not. Shit's at it's crazy. Like, I would there. think probably, like, if they had that here, I'd be like, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Here we go. I, I think if you had that in, like, a small town or, like, Wisconsin or somewhere, you'd be like, all right, uh, cool. These, these ladies right, are letting getting, loose. Yeah. Putting their it's hair very, down. You know, it's very Fifty Shades of Grey in that it, like, it is the tamest fucking sex shit of all time yeah yeah but like when you're that oppressed like anything is dirty and naughty crazy like i'm hold how do you do it And they're like probably like whipping these like weird whips and like i don't get it i don't get it i don't get it that's that that seems like a lot of money to me just to throw down on like some giggles some farts and giggles you know like (laughs) Farts some sh- some shit. champagne and a you know these shitty like lace like uh, they've got a picture of it online here this is it, it appears to be some like lace like half bat girl 
mask they put on. Well, um, that's like sex party mask, right? Uh, no, it's not. Like a se- like, you want to throw a sex party mask on? You you go back to Clockwork Orange. Like, really get <laughs> fucking weird with it. Really get fucking weird with it. Is it like like if you're having a, a real sex party, you want to see half class? I think. Mm-hmm. Like some half half classy shit like that, but then I like I want to see a, a fucking dude in a Michael Myers you know mask, not the guy from Saturday Night Live. Yes, I but know. The, the killer from mm-hmm. Halloween. I want to see a dude in a Michael Myers mask where you're like, oh man, what's that guy gonna do? Right. Like what's who's he fucking tonight? Um, and what and what's the other person? How are they gonna feel about it? Yeah. Like it's Mike. It's Mike Myers. You know, like that. That would be some. Some cool, like yeah, this this type of the the frills and the lace. Um, I I don't I don't need it. I don't need to. He- I don't need to hear that. I don't need to see it. Uh, and frankly, I don't even know. I don't need to hear that. I, I don't even know why it needed to be written about because this is it's so tame and it just makes makes it makes Hollywood kind of look like pussies, even though they they are. But like sexually, they're not. You know, that's right? One, that's one thing you give Hollywood is like sexually. I don't give a fuck. Uh, but this, this, the whole art, the art of sex soiree. Oh boy. Oh no. Like, this is pointless. Yeah. Just absolutely fucking pointless. Um, like a candle in the wind. Never know when. 1974, that song came out. Crazy. 1974. I'm not going to stop with it either. That's fine. You know, I'm not going to stop with it. I know. I'm gonna flip on some shark porn later, mm-hmm. and just get get into my like a candle no, in the wind, no. never knowing when the rain hit him. Um, yeah. So that's that's uh, that's that's the weird shit that's going on these days. You know, uh, it's out there. It's out. It's it's out in the public. It's in the public. Not people are writing articles about it. You would you would you would have figured at least. And I hate to keep harping on this. You would have figured the sex soiree would have been like a hidden underground. Nobody write about this. Nobody talk about it type of thing. Um, but then somebody comes in and writes a full full blown article with time codes. By the way, so it it says at seven fifteen. I was escorted from my limo. Uh-huh. I didn't know what to expect. There were people wearing masks everywhere, and it just got crazy from there on out. There were so many roses on the table. I felt like I was at the goddamn Rose Bowl parade. I couldn't believe what was going to happen next. And when the oysters came out, I just didn't think it could get any sexier than it did. Somebody brought out a paddle. <laughs> the paddle. The paddle was laced in leather and people were tapping other people on the bottom with it. And they were saying, do you need more champagne? And I said, no, I don't need any more champagne. But I did inside. I wanted champagne because I wanted to be sexy. I wanted to have a sexy little night out with my friends. (laughs) And then by 845, that's when the dessert came and things got really crazy then. I put fucking chocolate all over my bottom. (laughs) (laughs) oh man these fuckers man these fuckers it's there was just no need for that there was no goddamn need for that uh the article itself and i didn't need to hear about it i just i didn't need to hear about it all the way around japes (laughs) well if it was really underground it would be underground underground but instead it's not and instead we we have we have shit like this we have fucking j J j-lo Dating a Rod, um, which Whatever. which I'm not fuck. No, it's another fucking. Uh, it's just another fucking snooze that I don't need to hear about. Right, but they're fucking meant for each other. Those, I get like narcissistic piece of shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, for, do anything to get ahead. Uh, for J Lo, what did, what did she do to get ahead though? Um, just like used certain assets about herself to get to yeah a but she it was level. it wasn't she never like banged she was like, like an old dude no no she wasn't like a chelsea handler no, who, no she was a dancer that like you know but as but, far as her acting opportunities i don't get it i don't either did you go back have you ever looked back at those old and living colors by yeah, the way for sure that is not it's not an attractive the, gal. No, no 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 i, I don't know. know what i mean you want to talk about the the best fucking turnaround of all time 
Um, I mean, it's like those those teen movies when they take the glasses and and the ponytail out, and you're like, oh my god, it's a different girl. That's yeah. a totally fucking different girl. Yeah, Jennifer Lopez on in Living Color versus now is like, I mean, she's like eighty times hotter now yeah. than she was in that in her show. 20s, yeah. yeah, she was she was kind of. I mean, I hate to say the word chubby, but you know, would you say she was a bigger gal? No, she was more of a muscular like dancer, like a stout, like she was a short dancer yeah but now just like doesn't she look tall and thin for some reason did she, she grow she doesn't look tall but she definitely looks thinner she looks pilates she looks I'm pilates sure. but it's like i mean how do, she, i don't know the way she carries herself all that shit like looks so different now where yeah. you're like all right but for her like she didn't fuck you know like like i said chelsea handler fucked the president of e right you know it was like a 30 a dude was 30 years older and not just she got ahead j-lo really didn't do that like i don't i can't remember like she would remember Ben Affleck, like they they were together for a while. Yes. Oh, fucking Puff Daddy. Yes. But they were all like age Puff appropriate. Daddy, Puff Daddy might have been a thing, but yeah. The age appropriate. I mm-hmm. think she was engaged to Puff Daddy, if I'm yeah. not mistaken. And the reason why, you know, I think the only reason that why they broke up is because he fucking shot somebody in a club, and she was like, "Yo, I'm, I don't want yeah. this is my type of image." Right. And bounced. I think like two days after the trial ended. Remember his murder trial, and. uh at right after she sat there and was like, I'm going to go through this. And, the you know, the jury, there was there were some Latinos on the jury. And it was just like, cool, not guilty. He started crying. And she was just like, deuces, two days later. This is too much stress for me. So she never, to me, fucked her way to the top. I don't know how she got the fucking acting gigs and all that other shit. But, yeah, um, I just like, I just, I wish she right would right have stayed in don't have her an answer for lane. That. She can't sing. Literally all Still she can Still can't do- sing. All she can do is dance yes. and like look super hot. By the way, fun fact: uh, they are doing a voice type show about dancers um, that that are they're giving away a million dollars to the best dancer on the show, and that starts in like three weeks. She's the fucking host of it. She's she's uh she's the new Simon Cowell of her own dance show. Oh, crazy, right? They've kind of had a couple of those types. Of sort things, of, but, yeah, yeah. This is uh you know it's three judges and they judge you dancing and the whole. The whole shit, mm-hmm. um, which is at least better than Dancing with the Stars or, or something yeah. else. Like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, boy, can't can't do that. But then you have A-Rod, that piece of shit. Uh, uh, 900 steroids, which is fine. I don't. I really don't give a fuck. Like, Jose Canseco, when he got popped doing steroids, he was like, yo, I wanted a gajillion dollars. That's why I did this, and I'm fucking awesome. I was hitting sweet home runs. Yeah, but his only problem is he didn't just say that about himself. Uh, a Rod, no, A Rod did not. A Rod denied it every single no, time. No, no, I'm saying Conseco didn't just say, "Hey, I did this." He said, "And this person, and that person, and this person." So wow. that was Conseco's problem, right? Yeah, yeah, yo, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, if yeah, Conseco yeah. had just been like, "Listen, I did fucking steroids. Fuck you," you've been like, "All right, yeah, cool." Yeah. Well, he outed everybody because yes. they came after him, and he was like, "Look, I'm not doing anything else. Isn't so fuck everybody." Like, yeah, but you can't. Here's how. Here's do how that. it goes. Out. Uh, the, Canseco's, a, Canseco's the, a dirt bag too. Total dirt bag. Total dirt bag too. I, I don't, I'm not shying away from that. But A Rod denied it 900 times, kept getting caught over and over and over to the point where what was he banned for like two years? Like, yeah. Or a year or something. It was something fucking so Hated, crazy. Still yeah. playing. And he was under contract with the Yankees and they still had to pay him. So he got, you know, an extra fucking. Thirty-six million dollars a year for two more years. Mm-hmm. Uh, quit retires. Uh, well, the Yankees retired him. Let's face it. Bought out his contract. Never played again. Now he's an analyst for Fox, and it's like sweet job. Yeah, be- best best Dating baseball J-Lo. announcing gig on the on the on the planet. Dating J Lo. His life has only gotten better, and he's only been a piece of shit. So what's the moral of the story, kids? What is it? <laughs> Be a piece of shit and you get ahead in life. Do steroids. <laughs> yeah, like if you steroids need an are edge. fucking awesome. Uh, take it. I don't, yeah. Do it. It's just, uh, it's insanity to me how he keeps fucking failing upwards. Um, I, I, I rarely see anything like it. I rarely anything. Because J-Lo, Jenny from the block, um, you know, she designed her body to look younger somehow yeah and fucking what is she's like 50 and you're maybe just they like, went to the same doctor that's how they met maybe it is that maybe they're it is. taking this like because a rod looks two years old a really yeah. tall yeah, 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 fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. baby yeah. man yeah yeah man baby you're right man baby he's, and he's you're right he's fucking 40 
43, 44, somewhere in there. Yeah, you're right. He's not old, but no. he does not. He looks like a tiny baby. I, I know. I know. Him, um, him and J Law. She looks 12. Yeah. And you're just like, what? That's crazy. What? What is that? And like, here? She, her, totally fine for her. You know? Yeah. Nothing illegal. I mean, I, I, I guess. I guess, but would you but... want to be associated with him is the only thing. Like, that's what's crazy to me. It's weird she that people a, just don't a really cut image to an extent. And and she's she's with that piece of shit. Like it's kind of that's kind of crazy. I think she's been what what name one person that she's been with that hasn't kind of been a little bit of a piece of shit. Well, you take Mark Anthony who she was married to. Mm-hmm. I haven't heard any shitty stories about him. Like I've heard just, just like gross he stories. Seem like yeah, he, has he seems some real weird seedy. Thing. Yeah, he seems like a John Leguizamo character. Yes, in a, in a drug in movie, real life. like in a drug movie where you're just like, oh, like like John Leguizamo from Bloodline, where you're just like, what the fuck is he your has. deal, bro? Doesn't he seem like that? He does. That, that that that's what that's what he seems like. But uh, you know, to 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 this day, not a scratch on the guy. Sure. Public wise, yeah. pri- private wise, I, I know f- a few friends have worked on music videos with him, and they said he just chain smokes all day. Uh, he smokes like three packs of cigarettes all day, and they were like, "Yeah, you know, really don't have anything bad to say about him. Really don't have anything good to say about him either. He's just kind of there." Just yeah, kind of a but then that's dude. when the shit comes out. Mark Anthony caught. Yeah, filming I don't know. shark porn. Yeah, well, I don't know. We've all been he's there. Got like a thing. I know he yeah. has some fucking thing. Who knows? Anyways, he's, he's kept uh, Ben he's Affleck kept it on the low. Listen, he's bro, kept it on the low. Ben Affleck, I love you, but you're a fucking dirtbag. Like, pretty much, he's a <laughs> dirtbag, right? Like, I'd party with him for sure, but he's a dirtbag. Like, yeah, I, I'd like go to Vegas with him, all of us, like. And have like a cool, like a like fun a blast. time, yeah, like right? Yeah, like a fun time with him. But I, really, I probably wouldn't go to brunch with him the next day. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because he'd be like, su- just like totally different. Uh, he'd yeah, be totally yeah, different. Yeah. <laughs> like the night before, we were uh, like, besties, dude. And we're yeah, just like yeah, doing yeah. everything. And he's like, you know, front, we're taking the limo and like yeah. whatever. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah, the yeah. next morning, you're like, what's up, buddy? And he's just like. Who? Who the fuck are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. smoking. I, I met him. I met him one time at an Oscar party in like 2002 or three, and he was just kind of an asshole. Mm-hmm. Um, he was dating Gwyneth Paltrow at the time, so they came together, oh, that's and he right. he just seemed to me, and like Matt Damon was there with him also, but it, with the with the Gwyneth Paltrow around, who goopy jeans we hate more mm-hmm. than life. Um, he always just seemed like he wanted to be the most famous person there was and didn't, you know, like, like, Hey, look at me, but He's didn't really. So it was just like, I, I tried to have a conversation with him and like, it was a very small party. So it wasn't like a thing like everybody, you know, we all had the same agents and all that shit. So we, everybody kind of knew each other and you got introduced and he's just kind of a dick. And then mm-hmm. whereas like Matt Damon was cool as fuck. Yeah. We were like, God damn. Like I chatted, chatted my face off with him for like 20 minutes, just about bullshit. And you were like, what a cool motherfucker. Whereas Ben Affleck was like, it didn't even seem like he gave a shit about Gwyneth Paltrow. It was just that Gwyneth Paltrow could make him look yep. more famous in this room. And you were like, eh. So then when he started dating J-Lo afterwards, was not shocking at all where it was just like, oh, he still wanted to continue the, yes. f- the fame trend. Of yes. like, How famous could I possibly be? And then, you know. Like A-Rod's a, a, a Ben, a hearkening back to the Ben Affleck days for yeah, her. Yeah, yeah, for her, yeah. A-Rod where just wants like, to be famous. All right, yeah. like, yeah. You guys are a, a hot couple, whatever. You look good together. Yeah. But really, you're just like the worst. The worst. At home, you're just like both staring into your own mirrors, <laughs> like facing away from each other, talking I, I, to I, the other person through your own reflection. I guarantee you, A-Rod asked J-Lo for, for beauty tips. I guarantee it. Yeah, I'm sure. I guarantee Alex Rodriguez. I'm has sure. asked for beauty tips on more than one occasion of like, yeah. who's your Botox person? And they're both like, my kids are the most important thing. And when they, the uh, fuck yeah. are you with them? Yeah. You never see them. You never see them. Uh, speaking of kids, this is that point in the show where we get to the revolutionary figure of the day. Uh, this, 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 this special occasion goes out to three kids. We're talking about three brothers. We're talking about Isaac. We're talking about Taylor. We're talking about Zach. Oh. Yeah. They formed a little American pop band in Tulsa, Oklahoma, by the name of Hanson. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, you. Yeah. Uh, why are they revolutionary, you ask? Because to me, in my honest opinion, uh, they were the three prettiest brothers that in, in a game of if you had to fuck a dude, everyone said them for a, a collective like five to ten years where they were like, I, I guess I'd fuck the brothers from Hanson, the Hanson brothers. Yeah, but not the older one. Yeah, not the yeah. But the other, like the younger one with the fucking Ew. long hair, you're like, ah, I'd fuck that the dude. The younger one. Yeah, yeah. And, and I, look, in, in male history, that's a that's a big deal where it's like for five, ten years, everybody said the same thing. Uh, yeah, the younger Hanson, I guess I'd fuck. I'd fuck. Like if I had to fuck a dude, younger guy from Hanson would, would probably do it. Yeah. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. So, so to Hanson, uh, a cheers. And uh, I, I heard that they have like a beer or something out now. Like it's called like mm hop. Like um hops, mm, I'm dead serious. Stop. You're dead serious. They've got a. It's, it's some type of beer or liquor company. Um, um hop. Yeah, but uh, um, or, or, or um hops or something um, like that. Not there. Yeah. So I, I, we should fact that. We, we should fact check that real quick. Um, they're if we're gonna give a shout out. Yeah, to if their... we're gonna give a shout out to their beer. Uh, sure enough, Handsome Brothers beer. Pop, it really does pop right up, dude. Um, What's it called? It's called Um Hops. Nailed it. Wow. Nailed it. Wow. Uh, Your brain retains the stupidest shit. Of all time. Of all time. I. Uh, it's got a one star on here. It's got 57 votes and one star in rape beer. That's kind of shitty, that man. Like, uh, It's an American pale ale. So Maybe I, it's I, really I, bad. I, I, well, I want to try it, actually. I want to try it. I have to try it now. Mm hops. I mean, the labeling is cool. Like it's it's not a mm hops. Yeah. Yeah, but the, it's it's a it's a cool label. It's not a shitty label whatsoever. They're still killing the game, looks wise. But oh way. yeah. Well, I mean, dude, that they're only they're, they're, yeah, they're only <laughs> fucking eighteen now. So yeah, uh, they just turned age. No, that song but I, look, I'm not I'm I'm not gonna shit on their beer because it's actually the labeling is nice and and the bottles look nice. So they did put some time and effort into mm hops, uh, and good for good for them, you know. Uh, <laughs> so if you're out and you see me out, you see uh, Ross and you see Jables out in the street, and you want to buy us a beer, grab us an mm hop. Make it an mm hop. Make it an mm hop. Ba ba mm hop. Do da da do. For Jables, I am Ross Patterson. This is Ross Patterson Revolution. Good night, everyone. Good night.